So I read this headline, which would have been unimaginable until a couple of years ago, uh, Daily Mail. The moment transgender singer strips naked live on Channel 4 and plays the keyboard with her penis. Her penis. Uh, this is that moment which we've uh, tastefully blurred. Now, Tom Slater, what does that particular uh, act, moment, tell you about Britain today? What a time to be alive, Andrew, when you see that. You know, we, we use the word Orwellian a lot these days, but I, there's no other way you can describe the phrase, her penis, not only when it appears in the Daily Mail, one of our supposedly more trenchant right-wing newspapers. I think the thing about trans identity politics, more than any other form of it, is that it really does compel us to lie constantly. We must say that two plus two equals five. We must say that even that trans women are women, that there's no distinction, even when the evidence to the contrary is literally staring us in the face on national television. And I think it's something which people really aren't going to put up with for much longer, given the fact that they're being asked to completely ignore, as I said, the evidence of their own eyes at this day. But Tom, there's something else, surely, and that is double standards. Now, if I went on... Uh on Channel 4, and having done my drum solo, reprising my famous moments of uh, my youth as a, a drummer in a band, and then uh, got out my penis and showed it to everyone, I think I'd probably end that night in jail, and quite rightly. Uh, what happened to this particular person? Nothing of the kind. They're a hero on social media. How does that work? I mean, as you say, it's an insane double standard. I mean, this, if, if you'd had done that, Andrew, you know, not only would you possibly sitting the inside of a prison so they would have been decrying your kind of male entitlement your toxic masculinity all these kinds of things that doesn't <laughs> seem to apply in the place of someone like this and so i think that's one of the things that is really kind of grating against um people is that there seems to be these double standards it seems to be this just deranged way of looking at the world that this kind of identity politics is ushered in but it just shows no sign of going away even after something like a a, a long spell of conservative government these things seem to get worse it seems like it's so extraordinary. It's so extraordinary.